Hello viewers and welcome to my channel and today's topic is uh, pericardium cardiomyopathy you know. uh, but before starting I would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel you know. and uh, if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition uh, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and uh, now we come to the topic what is pericardium cardiomyopathy you know. Well, peripartum cardiomyopathy is a, a rare type of the heart failure, you know. Uh, it occurs during pregnancy or maybe immediately after the delivery, you know. And uh, the condition weakens the heart muscle and it causes the heart to become enlarged. Uh, as a result, the heart cannot pump blood properly to the rest of the body, you know. And, uh, the woman usually receive a diagnosis during the last month of uh, the pregnancy, you know, or within the five months of delivery. Uh, the next thing is, what are the causes of uh, uh, peripartum cardiomyopathy? You know? you know, your heart pumps up to 50% more blood during pregnancy. And uh, this is because uh, you have to transfer the oxygen and the vital nutrients to your growing baby in the womb, you know. And uh, there's no definitive cause of peripartum cardiomyopathy. And doctors believe this condition occurs when the extra pumping of blood combines with other risk factors, you know. And this combination uh, places additional stress on the heart. And uh, a variety of the risk factors can increase your chances of developing condition, which may include like uh, obesity, maybe high blood pressure, uh, diabetes, and uh, malnutrition, smoking, uh, alcoholism, uh, and uh, certain ethnic groups like uh, uh, American, African, uh, descent, you know, and uh, uh, multiple pregnancies. Uh, age being over 30 and uh, premature delivery medication so these are the common risk factors you know and the symptoms of uh, uh, peripartum uh, cardiomyopathy are similar to the symptoms of the heart failure uh, like you may experience like uh, uh, shortness of breath uh, or rapid heartbeat or palpitations uh, excessive fatigue uh, pain in the chest uh, tiredness especially during the physical activity you know a swelling of feet and ankles and increased urination at night so these are the uh, common uh, symptoms that you may experience you know well your doctor will review your symptoms uh, perform the physical examination uh, and then a device called the stethoscope may be used to listen your heart, you know. And uh, for any kind of cracking noises in the lungs or maybe uh, abnormal sounds in the heart, you know. And uh, then your doctor will also test your blood pressure, uh, check your pulse, uh, breathing rate, or heart rate, or heartbeats. And uh, it may be lower than the normal and it could drop significantly when you stand up, you know, your blood pressure, you know. Uh, then he, if he suspects then he will uh, order a variety of the imaging tests, which may include like CT scan or X-ray of the entire chest, a nuclear heart scan, uh, which show the heart chambers, you know, and the sound waves to create the moving pictures of the heart, which is known as echocardiogram, you know. So these are the most common tests which your doctor will advise or order to uh, make the definitive diagnosis, you know. Now once diagnosed then what are the treatment options is the next step, you know. You know the women who develop this condition, uh, they remain in hospital until their symptoms are, uh, the symptoms are under control, you know. And your doctor will recommend treatment based on the severity of the condition. And uh, you know, the peripartum cardiomyopathy heart damage uh, is uh, irreversible uh, but damage uh, to the heart can still function for a 
the damaged uh, uh, heart, you know, it can function for a long time, you know, and depending on the severity of the damage. And the severity of the damage will uh, also determine whether a heart transplant is needed or not, you know. Uh, outlook for the uh, woman diagnosed with this condition is good for uh, if uh, uh, if their heart returns to normal size after delivery, you know. And uh, this happens for about uh, in the woman between uh, 30 to 50 percent, you know. And uh, in all cases, 4 percent of the patients require a heart transplant and then 9% die as a result of the heart transplant procedure, okay? And the doctors recommend a heart transplant or a balloon uh, like a heart pump in severe cases. And the most women, uh, uh, the treatment involves managing the and the reducing the symptoms, you know. So your doctor may have prescribed uh, medications like beta blockers or uh, and digital us, you know or diuretics, you know, uh, to keep the symptoms under control. Uh, the severe complications of this condition may include uh, arrhythmias, uh, blood clots, especially in the lungs, uh, congestive heart failure, and uh, in severe cases, death, you know. Oh, there are certain lifestyle changes uh, that can decrease your risk of uh, developing this condition and uh, like getting regular exercise, avoid smoking, uh, eating low fat diet and avoiding the alcohol, you know, so these are the steps you can take to uh, reduce the risk of getting uh, this uh, peripartum cardiomyopathy. Uh, Outlook depends on the severity and uh, the time frame of your condition. So some women who develop the condition during the pregnancy may have their hearts return to normal size, you know, um, once they deliver the baby. And uh, on the other hand, uh, the condition can continue to worsen, you know. And in these cases, the heart transplant may be the best way, uh, like to preserve the Language, you know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you. Bye.